Hello, Mike here for KB1NYD, a YouTube channel. Um, today I'm going to do a review of the 601 E-Pipe. Um, most of you who check into e-cigarettes, um, e-juice, e-mods, and e-pipes will be very familiar with this one. It's been around for a while. It is a good pipe. Um, I chose it for a few key reasons, um, but uh, we'll get into the review here and um, kind of show it to you and see what it's all about. Alrighty, so this is the 601 E pipe. Comes in a nice box. Um, everything you need is in the box. Works great. Um, and it's got a lot of good stuff in there. It's a good working pipe. So, first thing we'll do is we'll take a look at it and see what we get inside the box, guys. Alright guys, here it is, the E-Pipe 601. There's a couple different um, uh, letters in front of the pipe sometimes, but they all kind of come in this box, which is, as you can see, a uh, beautiful presentation box. Really, really quite nice, actually. Um, we'll open it up and uh, we'll see what we got here inside. Alrighty, let's take a look. Outside cover goes up, this is the inside. Kind of got the the uh, embossed pipe 601 on it. Now, as you open it up, you'll see in the bottom half you get your pipe with a already a stem mouthpiece on it with an extra one. You get two batteries. Of course, one of the batteries is now in the pipe. A charger. Um, this one comes with an adapter to fit the uh, US plugs. And you get three cartridges. Um, I ordered mine with um, not tobacco or nicotine, but usually this is a low, medium, high um, for nicotine and tobacco flavoring. And you also get a owner's manual and when it was made, this one, let's see if I can get the focus, all right, if it's not too dark, um, was made in February of 2012, so it's a, it's a pretty new one. Um, nice box, foams in it, everything came good, no scratches, banged up, nothing, so it was all perfect so that was good so we'll uh, put that down here and uh, we'll take a little closer look at some of the stuff that's in it okay when we get the stuff out of the box we can take a bit of a closer look to it um, owner's manual as you can see it's uh, pretty pretty good I mean it kind of gives you the basic what you need to do to get the battery installed and stuff um, pretty straightforward stuff um, but it, it's very well laid out plenty of good information for you so very handy to have you of course get a, let me make sure this is, yes, 900, uh, 900 milliamp battery and you get two of these. These are rechargeable. Um, there's plenty of power in these. These are, these are very good batteries. Um, and they go right in. Like that. And you will see that there's a red light up here. This is red when it is charging. When this light is green, this battery will be fully charged. They say when you first get the batteries, you charge them for about 12 hours. Um, mine didn't quite take that long to charge up, um, but when I did charge them the second time, they did take a little bit longer, but still not, not 12 hours, and they really work well. And of course, mine came with an adapter for the US plug. Yours will come for the adapter that fits your country. Cartridges. This pipe takes cartridges. Um, some new pipes take atomizers, um, strictly or cartomizers or whatever, but this one takes cartridges because the atomizer is built in. And when you get these, this is what one looks like. Now when you pull this thing out, if I can get it out because it is a snug fit in there, which is good because, you know, that way it won't come out on you. There's a little rubber booty on the end here and that covers the end which where the juice would go these can be refilled so you can fill them back up once they go dry 
and then if you're you know planning ahead you can fill a couple of these these up you can buy blank blank ones that have not had any flavor in them um, but as anybody that knows with the flavor from China there isn't a strong flavor in it these ones are actually fruit, fruit flavored that I got and there was I mean you could tell it was an apple flavor but it was pretty pretty weak and I'm pretty sure any flavor goes in there would not really have any problems um, but you know you gotta you gotta buy your e-juice to fill it up so you can put any flavor in it you want after that but you can buy the blank ones if you want and they're only like a dollar a piece or something like that I mean I think I got I think I got 10 extra cartridges for like 10 bucks or something so they're not expensive you get two mouthpieces um, you can buy a replacement one of these two as well so if you need another one you can but uh, you know you get two in the in in the box I doubt you'll ever need another one of those but you can buy that you can also buy uh, more of the batteries and another charger if you need so you can get parts for that and then of course there's the pipe which is in my opinion a beautiful looking pipe it certainly uh, looks like a pipe uh, it's got the right shape for it and um, I think it really it really looks just like a pipe should um, a lot of people have problems with this jewel cap here um, the thing is to remember is don't over tighten it and and when you put it on there just kinda snug it up a little bit that's all you really you know really need to do to make it so it'll stay on there but if you do need to take it off best thing is to just put two fingers and pressure on it and then just turn the cap and say it comes comes right off and there you go and of course that's where the, the battery goes and you put the little arm right here which swings to the side so you can get the battery in and out and you swing it over now when you push this battery in the spring on the bottom is pretty firm so you've really got to kind of push in with one finger and then slide this arm over and make sure you get it like right in the middle the light will blink when you get it on there so you know you got it on right um, if you also look, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but there is a little nub over there. If you touch that with a metal object and touch this with a metal object, you can clean the pipe. And depending on how often you vape, you may have to clean this atomizer a couple of times. Um, it'll light up and you touch across with a metal object and hold it for like 10 seconds, then take it off. Let it cool down for 10 seconds, then hit it again for another 10 seconds, and that'll clean the atomizer inside. Um, so you can kind of, you know, get that all cleaned up, make it look run better. If you notice you start to get less less vapor or less flavor in a brand new cartridge, it's probably time to clean the atomizer. Now, the the, the getting to the cartridge and the thing, this is just a slide-on fitting, and it holds fine. It goes right on there. There's no problem. It doesn't come off. I mean, it works fine. It, it's great. But this is how you take it off and that is where the cart goes right there and there's a little little nub right there that sticks out so you can grab it and pull this out now when you pull this out and this is a little this is a brand new cartridge so it's got a little juice on it see that's where the juice is now you can see it's pretty wet it goes right down inside and that's where the, where the uh, uh, atomizer is now when you clean that atomizer take the cartridge out don't leave this cartridge in there because you're super heating that thing to burn off any gunk and you do not want one of these in there so remember take this out when you do that cleaning process but to put a cart in you just slide it in it just you know goes right in you don't there no need to overdone and push too hard and then you just take the stem mouthpiece slide it right down and line it up so it's fairly straight and there you go and of course you put the jewel cap back on now like I said Getting it on is a little, you got to get the threads right, but once you start them like that, the threads are good, just take your finger and, and then there, see, it, it's snug. You ain't got to tighten it real down real hard because there is nothing here, it's all smooth, so you want to be able to just, see, and it's already loose, so you can take it off, but you just want it, snug it down, just like that. And there you go. It is a great pipe, and um, I think it works really, really well. I think you guys will be happy with it. Um, it's just the right size and it vapes extremely well now most you're going to be interested to compare it to like a pipe I have a regular pipe this is the regular pipe it's not a huge pipe this is kind of on the smaller side so you can see it's, it's relatively close size wise but you can certainly um, uh, more bent pipes or like this style pipe would be closer to this size this is just a smaller one but as you can see I mean they look fairly close to each other I mean you know they've got the right look um, the 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 band right here you know the bowl and this is a wood bowl it is a real wood bowl so they are perfect looking uh, this one is definitely lighter 
Um, anybody that smokes a pipe will tell you, of course, the bigger the pipe, it's got a little more weight, but they're really not that heavy. Um, this one has a little more heft in it with the battery in. Now, it's not hugely, I mean, we're not talking a huge difference, but there is a little more weight on here with it, that big battery in there. So when you got this in your mouth, you know, you kind of feel that little extra weight on it, but it certainly isn't anything that'd be uncomfortable, not, not by any stretch of imagination. So that kind of gives you a comparison to, to, to see that they're, you know, it is really close to what a pipe size should be and certainly will be comfortable in your mouth. Shouldn't have any issues with it at all. And there you go. So lots of good stuff in the uh, box that comes with it. Everything you'll need to get started. Um, you get the three uh, cartridges with e-juice in it ready to go. And like I said, you usually get tobacco flavored with uh, high, medium, and low of nicotine. Of course, I ordered mine with a uh, fruit flavored one. Just because I can with anything else, and um, uh, no nicotine in these ones. Um, as people who are former smokers or a real heavy pipe smoker may need that nicotine, um, you can certainly get it in different strengths, um, as low as 6 milliliters, I think it is, uh, as high as 34, 36, which is pretty strong. Most people go about the 18 um, level for nicotine, seems to be the, the best. Um, but like I said, I um, went with the non-nicotine version. Uh, the pipe itself is great feel in the hand. Um, it, you know, it, it's no problem at all. It feels good in the hand. Um, it, some people who are into like cigarettes or want to be more discreet may not feel comfortable with such a big pipe per se as they're you know going down the road and stuff. But if you're a pipe smoker, you you have none of those issues at all. Uh, and it, like I said, it feels just like the pipe should. Good quality, um, pretty good weight to it. It's a little bit heavier than like a pipe might be, but not a whole lot that you're really going to notice any difference. But it, you know, there is a slight difference to it. Um, it's comfortable in the mouth, no problem at all. Um, works great, and as you can see, I got a puff out of it with just breathing in a little bit. It really works good um, in here for the uh, switch where the light is. It, I mean, it doesn't even take. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it doesn't even take much. And you see that light come right on lights right up red. Uh, it's actually quite a nice looking glow in my opinion, uh, especially you know in the darker conditions and stuff. Um, very nice. And as I said, the draw on this thing is beautiful. Now with like a normal pipe, you usually take a few primer puffs. You want to do that when you first uh, start the pipe, especially after you've just changed the cartridge. Sometimes it takes you know a couple of good puffs to get the cartridge going and, and get the atomizer all juiced up and ready to go. I have been using this one this morning so it's it's already pretty much you know ready to go um, but the best thing to do when you first do it just take a few primer puffs now as you can see plenty of vapor coming out already then you take a nice long drawer on it plenty of vapor plenty of vapor the thing about pipe smoking in general is it's more of a, a puff kind of you know relaxed kind of thing so you're not going to be sitting there puffing on like a train unless you, you know you want to I suppose but um, it does have the same feel as a pipe um, you know you get the same feeling when you draw it in it's a nice easy draw um, works fine um, I've actually used it when I've been going down the road in the car works good there did it outside of course the breeze will knock it over and it looks like smoke but of course the thing about vaping is that it's not it's uh it's water vapor so you can take this anywhere i mean you know you could do the movie theater or a restaurant anywhere you want to go because there is nothing lit there's nothing burning there's no tobacco in here um there's no open flame there's nothing like that you're not exhaling all this crazy stuff out to secondhand smoke you just water vapor that's all that is is just water vapor so let's take a better better hit off this and see how we can do As you can see, plenty of vapor. That comes from having a big cartridge, but the big battery as well. Um, that makes a big difference. Like an e-cigarette, you wouldn't get as, quite as much smoke. And it wouldn't last as long. Most e-cigarettes are good for about an hour to three, depending on the battery. Um, I have been using this now for a couple days. And I find the rechargeable batteries are good for a day. Now, I vaped this thing so hard this weekend because I really wanted to put it through its paces. Probably vaped it more than I would in a normal day. Um, but I really wanted to, to see how well it do. And the batteries are good for a day and even a little bit in the next day. So you would certainly get a 
probably two days uh, just regular vaping or if you're you know if you don't vape quite as much you might even get a little bit more than that but you'll if you're vaping real hard you'll get a day but you'll probably get two days if you're vaping normally um, it's a good pipe good feel in the mouth good draw good vaping um, the flavor is alright this is some some if you get into looking at e-juices you know most of the flavors from China aren't as strong um, and this one's pretty pretty mellow the apple flavor is what this is it's pretty mellow um, the other thing to remember about this is as you're as you're vaping on it is um, the cartridge now the cartridge I'm getting and like I said I was vaping it pretty hard during the weekend um, I would get about just about a, a full day out of it and that was hitting it pretty hard these are big cartridges the average person if you're just kind of puffing on it during the day and in the evening and stuff you probably get two days out of that cartridge easy but I really wanted to see how long you could go if you were just you know constantly vaping it and it, I was doing that all weekend and it, 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 it really did good um, after about a couple hours you do get to get a little warmer here where the atomizer is but I found if you just set it down for five minutes it was in almost completely ice cold by then there was no heat or anything to it so if you sit in there vaping on it you know continuously for like 10 15 20 minutes just set it down for a minute or two and it cools right off no no, no problem I mean it never got hot to the touch or anything I just noticed there was a little warmer here and that's right where the atomizer is in the pipe um, it really just does a lovely job I had done a lot of research about these and most people said that uh, they vaped really well but it's just that most of them wouldn't take it out in the public well, I had no problem with it and like I said I was driving I'm walking the dog outside um, just strolling around I got no problem I, and the good thing about this unlike a regular pipe is you don't have to light it if it's windy don't worry about that and you can just slide it in your pocket because there's no way for this to turn on this is an automatic um, e-device which means you have to you know suck on it to get it to kick on there's no buttons to push so if you put this in your wallet there's nothing to push some e-pipes have a button right here and I can understand that might be good for some people but I like an automatic one plus I, I really do like having the red glow there I think that kind of adds to it for me or more of a realistic kind of pipe smoking scenario really um, but it draws good works excellent there, I haven't got any complaints about anything and I mean like I said I went through I think I had to go charge the batteries up so if you were to say a battery a day I've done three batteries a day and I've done three cartridges and they just work great um, you know when the cartridges are getting low because you'll start to get a slightly I don't want to say burnt but kind of like you know warm uh, smell and taste so you it's it's an obvious when the cartridge is, is run low on juice like I said you can refill them so you can use these cartridges over and over again um, but they are cheap to buy new cartridges you won't have any problem picking up more or blank ones if you want to do that but like I said mine had such a weak flavor that I think you could put another e-juice in there and it wouldn't be an issue at all so there it is guys the 601 e-pipe like I said it, it works great it gives you everything you need off it um, you know the light works good oh the other thing is when the battery is low there's a red light in here well that'll actually start to blink green and and that tells you that the battery is low and it blinks pretty fast the lower it gets and then eventually you won't even be able to do anything because it'll turn itself off but this will start to flash green in here and you'll see it and you'll be like okay time for a new battery so you just take the lid off pop in the new battery and you're good to go I just whenever I change the battery out I plug the other one in and it's usually fully charged hours before you know the next battery is needed so that's not a problem but like I said you can buy extra batteries uh, extra mouthpiece you can buy a whole new atomizer this bottom half minus the battery because um, well you could buy more batteries but you would and you can buy a replacement cap too by the way a lot of people say they lose these or break you can just buy the cap but you can also buy this bottom part where the atomizer is. This is the part that'll cost you the most to replace. Like 40 bucks or something just for this atomizer. But it's a big atomizer and it's certainly going to last you a while. I don't think it'd be something that I would think you'll be looking to replace anytime soon unless you're, you know, vaping that snot out of this thing every day of the week. Um, it should last you quite a long time with no problem. But, you know, you can get that. Um, you can buy just the pipe and not the kit. Um, you can buy just the cap. You can buy the batteries, the mouthpiece, the charger. So there's and, and plenty of cartridges. You can also buy the cartridges pre-filled with any flavor you want, with any nicotine level you want. So it really is versatile to what you need. Um, I found that I actually vaped it more than I thought I would, to be honest with you. Uh, I knew I would enjoy it. 
Um, I knew by doing the research that it, it would give me plenty of vapor and I think that's the most important thing for a pipe smoker especially is that whole smoke you know coming out and, and you're sitting there and you're just kind of you know relaxing. You know that's part of the draw of this. So if you're a pipe smoker you're going to be comfortable with this. If you've never smoked a pipe before, it might be a little awkward to hold it and, you know, kind of put it in your mouth, you know. It may not be for everybody as an e-vaping machine, you know. It may be the cigarette, the pen style, or a regular mod might work better for you. But if you're a pipe smoker, this is an easy get into and then you can, you know, get the nicotine level you want, but you can also do all kinds of flavors. That's one of the great things about e-juices. I mean, if you like tobacco, you can get that, but you can get fruit flavors, drink flavors, food flavors, and you can actually get your tobacco flavored, like some of the tobaccos when you buy pipe come with chocolate or cherry or vanilla. You can get all that in e-juice as well. So there's really no excuse not to have it. I mean, it really is an easy thing to switch to, and it's a lot cheaper. <laughs> uh, I think... I'm not quite sure, I think it was at um, GatorVapor.com that I saw the information that the average smoker spends anywhere from two, around $200 a month in cigarettes. But if you were to switch to an e-cigarette, once you buy it, of course they have front costs. And e-cigarettes are cheaper than the pipe because it's a much smaller battery and much cheaper. I mean, this is more expensive than like an e-cigarette. Uh, it'll cost you like $25, maybe $30 a month in e-juice. So, I mean, you're saving a lot of money right there. The first month, you've saved enough to pay for the cigarette or the pipe. And from then on out, it's all savings. So, And the good thing is you can take it anywhere. You can vape it anywhere. You ain't got to carry any lighters, tobacco. I mean, you might carry a few extra cartridges for juice, or you may just carry a bottle of e-juice and top this cartridge off when it runs low. But the good thing is you can take this and you can vape this anywhere. There's no restrictions to it. Now, would you sit down in an airplane and start piping, you know, vaping off your pipe? Probably not because the people around you might get upset if they don't know that it's not real and you might get yourself in trouble with, this, with, with the, the people on the plane. and You don't want to do that. But you certainly could. There's nothing that says you can't. It's not against the law. It's just water vapor coming out and there is nothing bad in that. I mean, you know, that's all it is. So... Uh, it's a great bike. I, if you're into it, I say go check it out. Um, the prices vary depending on where you go. Um, you can find it as cheap as $50 for the kit or as high as $120, depending on where you buy it. So you really need to shop when it comes to e-pipes, cigarettes, um, cigars, um, pen style, or mods. You really got to get out there and look around. Don't go with the first one you get. Um, compare it to some other places, like the place I bought it from, I could switch the flavors out. Most of them you get the tobacco flavor only, so you couldn't switch the flavors. Shipping's another big thing. If you get it from like, you know, China or something, it's going to take two weeks to three weeks to get it. If you buy it in the U.S., you'll get it faster, but you should pay a little bit more. So do your research, and uh, I, I, I highly recommend it. Works great. Alright guys, I'm Mike for KB1NYD's YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the review. If you've got any questions, post them down in the bucket down below in the comments and I will certainly get back to you. If I can give you any more information, just PM me. I'm certainly share whatever knowledge i got about it. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next e-review.